Good morning, everybody. No, wait. Hang on. Let me do Connor's intro. <coughs> morning, guys and gals and everything in between. Welcome to Not So Stream. Got the right Connor Lincoln. <laughs> he came up with it. Actually, uh, we came up with that together a uh, long time, and I kind of stole it. But I have—I don't use it too often. I don't know why. Please pardon my, um, uh, skip ahead like five, no, three minutes or something like that, because I am currently spreading the propagandas. Alright, I'll probably be on for about an hour, dep uh, depending on, uh, depending on when I have to go to work. off, I had just finished up uh, Chapter 3 in Nicolet's Pit. And here we are. swig of water real quick. Remember to drink water, everybody. Ah. Alright. Alright, for those of you who this is your first, um, this is your first video of this series, I'm doing a challenge where I can only put, uh, level up point, uh, level ups into badge points. And then I constantly have the double pain badge equipped. And I'll give a short description of it. Uh, basically, it takes whatever uh, whatever number uh, whatever damage uh, that is dealt directly to Mario after all of uh, defense reductions and guards have been uh, uh, calculated. It takes all that and doubles it. <coughs> Am I done here? Yes. Alright. For today, the plan is to do a bunch of side quests and troubles and stuff. I don't want to start on the next chapter just yet. Had to have been Saturday. Boo Star Temple. Great place for hiding. Do you want people to see how good I am? Heck. <laughs> Spread the word. <coughs> Goo Star Temple. Why does that feel familiar? Let me Google that real quick. See what comes up. 
Is it only referenced in this? It's Mario Wiki. Oh, it was only mentioned by Kukuk after finding him during his trouble. This is impossible as there is no way for Mario to access this time. Oh, okay. Yeah. That would have been pretty cool if, if it was like a reference to a different uh, Paper, uh, Paper Mario game in the, ser in the series. Hi, Queenie! Good morning! Des Queenie! Good morning, good morning, good morning. Blah, 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 blah. All right, let's get this email. I'm doing well, it's early, very early. Jordan had to go to work early to this, uh, this morning. So, after making the bed, making breakfast, feeding the cats, other things, here I am. I don't know for how long, possibly about an hour. Mm. I've uncovered something terrible. These things, the x knots they're planning to take control of the world to that end that they're searching for the crystal stars. I still don't know what the crystal stars do, but you must try to get them all. We'll gather what information I can. Princess Peach! Those dudes want to rule the world? No, it stink! You don't say. Right, there, did I get this one already? Alright. Cool. Alright. Let's go complete some troubles after I check the lotto. How are you doing this morning, Queenie? How was your weekend? Hay fever? Hay fever? What do you mean, hay fever? What you talking about, Willis? Uh, oh, I got one number. What'd I get? Amazing, happy, lucky. Won the third prize. Number three. Oh, sick, an ultra shrimp. Alright, I'm gonna cook that up into a shroom steak right away. Because I do not have 50 HP. Hey, Luigi. What have you went up to? Second piece of the Marvelous Compass. I got my hands dirty on that one. Uh, sure. Tell me the rest of the story. Alright. Uh, Waffle Kingdom letter, right? From a bump volcano. This means seasonal allergies, basically. Oh, right, duh. I live in Virginia. I should know what that means. Uh, itchy eyes and nose and sneezing. Yeah, that was me last night. Uh, long story. Here it goes. As soon as my ship docked on the Pudding Continent, I set out for the volcano. To reach my destination, I spent several days fording through dense jungle. Scary beasts were all over. More than once, I thought I was done for, bro. May have screamed a bit to scare them off. Now it's fate would have it. Oh, what's this? Hello, it's Meme! Welcome to the stream! I bet they don't have hay fever on the Pudding Continent. <laughs> nah, they probably don't. Well, it's good to hear, Queenie. Glad you're doing well. Blooper named Bluey heard me shrieking and found me in this one town. Bluey was on a journey of his own, but he joined me after hearing my tale. Now Bluey's a madman. Back in the hometown, they called him White Torpedo! White Torpedo. Definitely not a euphemism for sperm. But anyway, uh, sat through a 12-hour stream. It was amazing. Had a lot of fun. What do you mean, set... You weren't, you weren't there for uh, Kilo's 12-hour uh, stream on Saturday, were you? Uh, fight to Wump Wump Volcano, West was bubbling lava pools, sun sweat, and the place was lousy with e evil traps designed to protect the compass piece. Oh, no, no, your friend Slayer was streaming. Oh, what day? What day was that? Was it Saturday? Sunday? Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, remind me to remind me to never get um, I just realized it's Tuesday. I don't know if for for some reason I had it in my head that today was Monday. Ugh. I really didn't sleep well last night. Oh, Monday. Right. Uh 100 foot tall statue. Weakest of this giant statue. Red gem on his forehead. Jump high. Uh, all you men. Waited for a pause in the statue's movements and hugged the gloomy up there. And bullseye. White torpedo saved the day. That jewel got whacked. 
My eye! So itchy. I know, right? Keep your hands washed. Uh, I don't recommend you do this, but what I usually do is I take rubbing alcohol and rub it, rub it in my eye. It stings like a motherfucker for the first five minutes, but after that, I'm fine. Seriously, don't do that. <laughs> Wash it out with water instead? No! No, you gotta go hard, man. You gotta get rubbing alcohol right to the eyeball. The critical hit and that stone statue toppled and crumbled into pieces. <laughs> yeah, yeah, tr uh, trust Hero, it's me. Meme. By the way, did you guys hear what happened at the Oscars? That's some crazy stuff. Easy stroll to the room where the treasure was. Uh, Princess and Claire with no one found. Find another piece of the marvelous compass. Put it in the base. You know, they had an entire game right here. Uh, just, you know, lying around for, for you to hear the story for. And they and Nintendo said, Hmm? What? What are you talking about? It was never there. We don't, we can't, we shouldn't make a game of that. Paper Luigi, it would have been perfect. Well, I'll be heading back soon. Uh, I don't want to read the next one. Alright, just set me up for failure. <laughs> I did not set you up for failure. I purpo I prompted that message with, do not try this. Alright, well, I guess I had a long story. Once we made it, made landfall on a strudel consonant, made for Plump Belly Village. Once we got there, though, we immediately noticed that something was wrong. We learned from the mayor that the town was ruled by a giant snake named Hizza. Hizza! Uh, he said his own daughter was going to be offered up as a sacrifice to this beast, too. BRB. I'll be waiting. Uh, so, of course, being heroic, I offered myself up to go instead. Great, huh? Now, the custom was for sacrifices to be dressed up as brides, so I got all dolled up. I was one hot sacrifice, bro. It looked so good, I fooled our foes and got huzzah! It's Flair. <clears throat> it's kind of rough fighting in that town. Uh, oh, rough fighting in that gown. But I managed. Chiffon really chafes, bro. I finally found huzzah, and the snake head had a second head on its tail. Talk about scary. It's a twinger snap! Oh, ignore, ignore Streamlabs right now. Usually I have uh, music playing when I'm not playing Paper Mario. Uh, but, um, but I'm not doing that right now. Because this game's got fantastic ambience and music. Why would I ever overwrite that? <clears throat> uh, both heads. Reared up fangs. Bared. <clears throat> Definitely one. Gaping mouths and smashed into one another and he vanished in the cloud of smoke. Shining plate fell on the spot. His uh, body had been foiled. Yes, another compass piece. <clears throat> Circuit Break Island. Just as I was about to leave town, the mayor asked me to stay and marry his daughter. I thought about it. She was sort of cute. But we ended up sneaking off the next morning. I mean, I still have to save Princess Eclair from the chestnut cave. Marvelous compass activated at this time and heard somebody's voice. It's so beautiful, bro. I'm certain it was Princess Eclair's voice. My heart began to race. That's when I realized it. Princess Eclair, I think I... Oh, I kind of zoned out there. Set sail again after ditching town. Somehow we managed to get back here in Roadport. Here I am. Alright, what's, what's this cherry guy? Oh, his name's Jerry. I'm a bomb from Plump bo Belly Village. <laughs> you would be too if you saw Luigi dressed as a bride. Serious, it scarred me. It was honestly scarier than that giant snake thing. Uh, does Long have a pet bomb? Oh, Luigi have a pet bomb. Yes! Uh, he's got a friend. Well, I wouldn't say a pet. Phoebe! Phoebe, stop going in that hole. That's where the power cord for everything is. Now, I don't want you getting shocked, but I also don't want you turning my shit off, either. Little cat. <clears throat> Uh, pssst. What's that? What? I'm hearing you. So I'm sticking to this guy. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Alright, let's go cook up that uh, ultra shroom. Because <clears throat> I'm never going to get up to, like, I'm never going to get around to reaching 50 health, so might as well get something 
uh, replenishes a bunch of health and other things too. Wendy! There's a minute meeting, Sydney Sparks. I don't know what this is. Did I play the original Xbox? Yes, I did. What game are you referring to? At one point, I played Blinks the Time Sweeper, uh, Manhunt, Dead to Rights, the original Halos, of course. Oh, not right. The original Xbox. <laughs> uh, I've got mine lying in a bag around here somewhere. Right, cook this ultra shrimp. I feel left out. <clears throat> yeah, I was so happy when I finished uh, when I finished a campaign on Halo 2. Only on normal. I only have an Xbox 360. Mine's uh, on a shelf over there. And I have my GameCube right next to my Xbox Series S. Go on, take it, Stompy. Shroom steak. We need to get you upgraded. And by upgraded, we mean downgraded. Uh, sure, what do you got? Hammerman. Uh, not interested in Hammerman. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy fucking shit, it's a crap. Don't mind me, I'm just, uh, spouting nonsense. Alright, how many shine sprays do I have? Just one? There was only one? I had the glitz bit? Not gonna lie, so far this is the most interesting Mario game I've seen, and I've only been here five minutes. Well, you absolutely are correct. This is by far the b not only the best Paper Mario game, but it is one of my favorite Mario RPG games. And I've, but to be fair, I've never played Legend of the Seven Stars. I've always wanted to. Alright, let's go listen to Mayor Kloop and Pedalberg. I just finished uh, chapter three of the game, so, but uh, since I, I'm probably only going to be up for like a couple, an hour or so, <clears throat> I've decided that this stream will be uh, nothing more than going around and completing side quests and stuff. No idea what this is, but I don't blame you for not playing. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, Legend of the Seven Stars? Uh, it's... It's... To my knowledge, it is uh, what everybody considers to be the... Uh, one of the most popular uh, art, uh, RPG games. <clears throat> it was on the Nintendo 64. Oops, wrong button. It was on the Nintendo 64, and it featured a character that everybody thinks has been has been uh, completely forgotten by Nintendo on all the on all the Smash uh, Super Smash Bros. games. Gino. I don't know what he does. I don't know what he does in the game. I don't know what his move set is. But everybody's really upset that he's not in Super Smash Bros. <coughs> But anyways, um, I'm ignoring these goombas. Too weak for me. They're not worth my time. <clears throat> uh, this is the second Paper Mario in the series. I do not count Sticker Star and Origami King as true as true um, installments in the series because one, they're a disgrace to the to the uh, story game, and Two, they don't have any references to the to the original three, like the others do. <clears throat> like in this game, there's multiple references to Paper Mario 64, and in Super Paper Mario, the one they shelled out for the Wii. Oh, crap, I can't think of any off the, off the top of my head, but I know in all of the original three, there was a character named Merlin in in each of them, and they got rid of them at, uh, after Super Paper Mario, and it made me very upset. All right. I got your request. Yes. Truth be told, I'm touch lonely here. Don't know when to talk to. Him. Since you're here, why don't you relax with me for a bit? Indulge in old Cooper. 
to tell you the truth, I've got a few things to say about kids these days. Tempers are too short for the, for their own good. Oh, also, um, I have a, I have a, um, all of my previous parts of this on uh, posted on my YouTube channel. If you're really interested, I did not start from the beginning on this. I think I started like halfway through the first chapter <clears throat> of of this particular playthrough with uh, badges only and uh, double pain. So, you won't see the initial setup prologue. I have a separate video of that, but it's like ages old and it was made with a shitty it was made with a shitty capture card using a shitty shitty capture program long ago before when I was just a wee lad. Ah, Queenie's back. All right. Shopping at the Toadstool Bros discount super shop the other day. I'm spitting. <clears throat> Alright, I was trying to pay and my coin purse was stuck closed and the kid behind me said, Hey, geezer, want to pay so we can get out of here before the sun goes down? Now, I may be a geezer, but sundown was clearly taking longer than I was. Clearly. Speaking of sundown, uh, reminds me of dating the missus back before she was the missus. Always had to have her home by sundown. Yes, sir, her pa was an absolute maniac. I right, decided to go back and rewatch old Disney shows I used to watch. They're just awful. That's why I didn't watch Disney show. <clears throat> I stuck to Cartoon Network and and uh, Nickelodeon occasionally, but mostly Cartoon Network. Ed and Eddie was the shit. I uh, keep my eyes on on the sun and off the face of my missus, gentlemanly like. Actually, it was sort of awkward, kind of bi blinding in a painful sort of way. Just thinking about it makes me feel awkward. Isn't memory grand? But that's not what I was talking about. Now, where was I? Hmm. Oh, that's right. Kids today. They know nothing about patience, I tell you. I want to stand up and yell, Hey, you punks, be more patient right now. Ah! Speaking of which, I think I proclaimed my love for the missus in a loud voice. Yep, she was leaving on a train and I yelled it f from a platform, like in a movie. Now, uh, what was it I yelled to her? Something about her shell, maybe? Ooh. Hey, now. Oh, wait, I think I strayed from my main point again. Or wait, did I? Anyway. Oh, anyhow, me and the missus were madly in love. Head over shells, I tell you. No, wait, my point was something about kids today, right? Ah, oh, whatever. Oh, my dear sweet missus. The way you combed my eyebrows. Such tenderness. Huzzah. Oh, uh, uh, oh sorry, I got distracted there. Anyway, you, you get my point. Sorry you had to listen through all that. It wasn't too boring, though, I'd wager. I'm just happy to get a little face time with the youth of today. Forgot to set out the tea. Aren't I an old ninny? My apologies. In fact, I haven't even added the hot water part. Awfully oh, sorry. Thanks! I could just walk right outside your house and get one of these for free. Yeah, schmuck. Change your mind, come back and listen to me yap anytime you need. All right. Anyways. All right, what's going on here? Car Cartoon Network has really weird shows. That's because that's because you you didn't start watching Cartoon Network until after Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends came, uh, went off air. Everything before regular show and whatever bullshit they're spitting out these days, it, seriously, none of the shows that are on now were were there 15 years ago. They had they had actual. It was mostly slapstick humor, not this. It's not just fart jokes all the damn time. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Geek charming. Alright. Disney movies, Teen Beach, How to Build a Better Boy, Zap, Bad Hair Day, Cloud Nine, Girl vs. Monster, Frenemies. I don't even know what Over the Garden Wall is. What is that? I think I watched Cartoon Network between 2005 and 2012. Eh. I stopped watching cartoons after I got in middle school. Because I didn't really have cable in my bedroom at the time. Or at, uh, when I went to middle school. But I used to get really excited for Samurai Jack. I was like, dude, there's a new episode of Samurai Jack this morning. But, Mom, it's Saturday morning.
Alright, let's go solve another trouble. Oh. Hang on, let me answer this text real quick so I don't sound like a schmuck. Conferencing details provided upon confirmation. Uh, this is for. <coughs> Let's go solve another trouble. <coughs> Plan T. Order me an item. Shop inventory is low. Need someone to help me restock. Please come to the shop in Rugport Square. You got it. This game and Paper Mario 64 both deserve a, a well done uh, remaster. The way the game transitions from indoors to outdoors is really neat. Yes, it is. Indeed it is. What's this? Learn will explain, but free benefit information. Got it. Ah, Plead and Tea. I've accepted your trouble. Really hard time finding courage shells. You just bring us five from anywhere you can find them. <laughs> <clears throat> well... When I say a remaster, I really mean like a an HD version, like they did with uh, Legend of Zelda: Wind Waker. They brought it to uh, the Wii U, and I think they're re-releasing it for the Switch. I just want something that doesn't make my eyes hurt uh, looking at it because it's in 480p, or actually, it's in 480i, which is awful. All right, Queenie, bye. Go have a great day. Do well in school. God, I sound like a dad when you say that. But yes, do well in school. Don't kick ass, as I say to Georgia every morning. Okay, Dad. All right, courage shells. I believe I can buy those in the glitz pit. I think I can get them from the Glutz Pit. If not, they're most likely in Petalburg. Yeah, give me... Yeah, here's my blimp ticket. <clears throat> cheap, cheap blimp. Remember to drink water, everybody. Keeps you hydrated. Helps you poop better. Mario Expanded Universe has ice cream trucks. Well, that wasn't an ice cream truck. That was a hot dog stand. Even better. Uh, actually, even better, it was a hot dog stand run by a pig character. Let that sink in. I 
That's like a snail serving escargot. Or a cow serving beef. I don't think I want to think too much about that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to think. Don't think too much about it. That's that's the general rule. <clears throat> okay, so if my first hunch was wrong, second guess is most likely right. Correct. Ugh. Plus, it's, it's part of the batch of troubles that uh, come in right after you finish chapter one, so it's most likely in Petalburg shop. I want Toad selling mushrooms, pref preferably in an alley. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the head of my enemies. I could totally see SMG4 Toad doing that at some point. I'm gonna pitch that idea to him. Uh, on uh, YouTube, he's an he's an animator that uh, that makes uh, um, what is it? Uh, source filmmaker animations. Hero, it's meme. Thanks for the follow. I very much appreciate it. Seriously, I don't know if you can tell from the sound of my voice, but I am very excited. This is not how my how my mornings usually go, or at least when I'm streaming. I mean. I don't typically uh, stream in the mornings. Sometimes I do if I if, if I get told to stay home for a little bit and, and wait for a call, or if um, oh you do sadly have to go since your dog needs walking. Well, I appreciate you spending some time with me. Thank you for giving me time out of your day, and I hope you'll come back later or come back uh, later tonight for game night with the rest of my uh, streaming buddies. We'll, we'll be playing Among Us or Jackbox or maybe Goose Goose Duck. We have no idea. It's different every time. There's one. Give me that. One. Two. Three. What? I got too much shit. I don't care for dizzy dials. Because they don't, they don't guarantee, uh, <coughs> I don't care for dizzy dials because they don't guarantee that the next hit that the enemy, um, lands, or won't land. <coughs> that didn't make any sense. Uh, dizzy dials only make them, only make them, uh, have a chance to miss. Probably not gonna be fighting anything anytime soon. <clears throat> ah, piss and buckets. Hi, TV. Got the curd shells, and I've got to run back to playing tea back in the shop. TV, <laughs> that's a bowl of grits. Don't lick that. No, stop it. That's 
five, you're done. Well, here's your reward. I hope you like it. Ultra Shroom, hell yeah. Alright, what's in the Graffini Corner? Rockhawk may be strong, but he's no Prince of Mush. Is he? No, he's not. Fighting fan. Vivi, stop it. <coughs> no, brat. It's not food for you. <coughs> now it's hardly food for me. Elder. Puny Elver, Elder. Emergency Shroom. Life Shroom. <coughs> Alright, buy a Life Shroom and bring it to Puny Elder. Twilight Town, right. It's over here. Okay. I didn't tell it to do that. Pretty 
mushroom. <clears throat> this one takes me to the pit of 100 trials. Which is right next to the... Thousand Year Door. that I have the super hammer now. So I can go here. Whack this. That one takes me to Petalburg, this one takes me to the Great Tree, right? Alright. Cool, I don't have to walk through all that BS. Hello, Kitty Elder. Or did you bring me a life shirt? Yes, yes I did. Thank you, Martio. Take this reward. Yeah, alright, 60 coins. Hell Next chapter is. Is it Twilight Town? It's gotta be Twilight Town. Twilight Town's got the ruby, the ruby star. <clears throat> Twilight Town. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Professor Frankly better look at this. The kidnapped Princess Peach is bent on a total world conquest. Yes, sir. We figured that we uh, that, that that would be why they need the ancient treasure. <clears throat> this doesn't bode well. This situation has gotten far more serious than I thought. <clears throat> Let me bring you up to speed. I've just been I've been researching just what this treasure could be. 
One book I came across held to what I thought was a preposterous theory. This book claimed that the treasure was, in actuality, the Great Cataclysm. The very cataclysm that, a thousand years ago, sank, sank that town underground. So the guys want to use the power of the cataclysm to rule the world? Can't say for sure what they'll do or why, but we must consider the possibility. Now that things have come to this, we mustn't let them near the legendary treasure. That's all that matters, because if they get if they do get it, then once again, this town no, the entire world could be destroyed. <coughs> In that case, Professor, we need to find that next crystal star fast. Part of the map it appears the next crystal star is in Twilight Town. Twilight Town? Twilight Town. I don't know much about the, the place myself. Only rumors. I've heard that, as the name implies, it's perpetually dim and eerie there. Wait just a moment. <coughs> Aha! There appears to be a piped Twilight Town somewhere here in Rogueport. I do believe it's somewhere underneath the west part of town. Yes, definitely. If you get stuck for any reason, just come back and see me again, okay? The west part of town, underground? Okie dokie, you got it, Professor! Leave! <laughs> Lala. Pinta Parlor is now having its grand opening event. Whoever takes this request gets something special from Lala, the cute kitty boo. Okay. Sure, yeah. Email. Koopa Koop, Mrs. Koops. Okay. I've been doing very well. Get lonely. Alone. Used to smell your uh, things are dead. Has its own smell. Disgusting. Gross myself out. So, right, embarrassed. Sending it anyway. Did you change your inventory? Oh, you did. Penta Parlor. Took out my trouble. So super. Here's your special thing. You look disappointed. I was just remembering that one chapter in uh, Super Paper Mario where you had to collect. It, there was essentially a, a cookie, cookie clicker style game that you had to go through where you had to um, collect a million rupees. Kind of like coins, but not quite. <coughs> Help wanted. I need some cleaning done. Motivated workers only. Please meet me in the glitz pit.
Miss Jolene is in the fight promoter now. Or is the fight promoter now. Planning my comeback. Talk to Miss Jolene. Go in. She's waiting. <coughs> Ding. Customary to knock before entering. Oh, why, it's the great Gonzalez. It's been too long. How have you been? What do you mean it's been too long? It's been like a couple days. If that. We've seen a big drop off in attendance since you returned the build. I was, so, I was a touch worried. Our financials didn't look too good for a while, but luckily Rockhawk made a dramatic comeback and is reigning supreme again. Has been it's been a whirlwind of activity every day since I became a promoter. Wait just a moment. Are you back to fight? You must be. No, I'm here to solve your trouble. You want to unretire and battle again? Oh, a news day has come. Old registration, so we can. Ah, all right. Well, that is my call to bid you all adieu. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode. No idea when it's coming out, but stay tuned anyway. Bye. <laughs>